baseball fans. I'm Ken O'Neill. And I'm Brandon Ross. And this is CSBN, the Collegiate Summer Baseball Network. And Brandon, the Cape continues their lock in the top six spots of the CSBR RPI rankings. It looks like three or maybe even four Cape teams have a shot at the brass ring. That's right, Ken. The top six from last week is identical as this week in terms of what teams are there, but there is a little bit of shuffling. The Chatham Anglers and Whitey Red Sox not budging from one or two, but a couple of risers and fallers within those categories. The Falmouth Commodores have surged all the way up to third place from back in sixth. The Katua Cavaliers also going down a couple spots. They were in fourth, now down at sixth. One other riser is the Orleans Firebirds up to fourth place from fifth. And the Wareham Gateman down from third place, sinking into fifth. There were no new newbies this week, only teams rejoining the list. The Savannah Bananas, the Waynesboro Generals, and the Amsterdam Mohawks have clawed their way back to the top 25. Ten teams have moved up in the rankings. Moving up one spot are the Orleans Firebirds of the Cape Cod Baseball League, the Bethesda Big Train from the Cal Ripken League, the Heldsburg Prune Packers from the California Collegiate League, and the Matsu Miners of the Alaska Baseball League. Moving up two spots, the Harwich Mariners of the Cape Cod Baseball League, up three spots, the Keene Swamp Bats of the New England League, the Corvallis Knights of the West Coast League, and the Falmouth Commodores of the Cape Cod Baseball League. And moving up four spots, the Moorhead City Marlins of the Coastal Plain League and the Traverse City Pittsbitters of the Northwest League. And not much change within the leagues with multiple teams in the top 25. Cape Cod still dominant with nine of the 10 teams out on the Cape finding their way onto the top 25. The New England Collegiate Baseball League also continuing to do well with three teams. Same number as the Coastal Plains League. And then the California Collegiate League and Alaska Baseball League each have a pair of teams in the top 25. It was a busy week for All-Star Games this past week. Together with weather cancellations, there were many leagues with just a few regular season games being played. That said, it was a week for records. In the Hampton League, Northwestern State junior Cheney Dodge of the West Hampton Aviators set the league record with his 25th stolen base. The speedy infielder hails from Carencro, Louisiana. In the Prospect League, the Quincy Gems set a new league record for team home runs. In an 18-5 win over the Springfield Sliders, the Gems hit six four baggers. After tying the record at 76 when Maryville University catcher Gabe Sharris from Washburn, Iowa, went yard in the sixth. All-star Tyler Clark Schiaparelli from McCormick Community College broke the record with a grand slam in the eighth. All-star Joey Pollock also hit two balls out of the park on the record-breaking night, giving the Gems 77 round trippers on the season, and the Gems are still counting. And Ken, even more records were set throughout this week. Out in the PGCBL, Albany Dutchman outfielder Chris Sang is the team's new single-season stolen base leader for the Albany Dutchman. Sang swiped his record, setting 29th base in an 8-5 win over the Mohawk Valley Diamond Dogs. This isn't the first time the Louisville freshman has etched his way into a record book, though. The LaGrange, Kentucky native set the single season and career stolen bases record at Oldham County High School. In the Florida Collegiate Summer League, 10th year of Deland Suns coach Rick Hull set a lead record with his 196th win. Coach Hall has also won two league championships and has seen 25 of his former players drafted. Certainly a job well done. Well, that's it for the top 25 this week. We'll see you all on CSB Week in Review. In the meantime, don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Play Summer Ball. For Brandon Ross, I'm Ken O'Neill. We're always interested in what you're thinking. We're so always we interested in what answer. you're thinking. Here are so the we results asked and of you this week's answer. poll. Here are the results of this week's poll.